Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm doing my first ever reading with my holiday um, Christmas setting here. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> uh, so if you if you saw that, that's for you. If you didn't, I don't know. You'll have to rewind. Welcome you guys. Welcome to the channel. I'm very grateful to have you here today. After last reading that we had here honestly like i don't even know how any other reading could be relevant or as relevant as that last one if you know you know if you watched it you know <laughs> and honestly like it just feels kind of weird to even do another reading because i kind of want to leave it at that because it's such a positive message but life goes on and the messages change and the circumstances change as well so let's connect and do a timeless reading. Let's tap into the best advice that Spirit has for the Pisces Collective currently. I invite you to click on the like button if you like these kind of videos. If you would like more of my readings to pop up in your feed, I invite you to like and subscribe. And I want to thank you all for being so encouraging and so open about the new programs and the new courses and everything that's new on the website. I really appreciate all the love and I'm very glad that you guys are finding the tools helpful. Alrighty, let's see what Pisces. Okay, first card that we got here, the Chariot. So movement forward, Pisces. Um, you definitely have your eyes set on a specific goal. For some of you, this could be about health. For some of you, this could be about your physical world, your body, your weight, your health, right? For others of you, this is more of a goal that has been determined by someone else. So this could be like an exam that happens to be on that specific date and that's how it goes because that's how it is. Um, others of you, instead of an exam, could have some kind of evaluation or some kind of, um, just like a test of some sort and it seems like you have your eyes on the prize and you're moving forward very focused and the challenge here you have the three of pentacles so some of you could be you know you could use some additional help let's put it that way you wouldn't mind if you had more help with maybe paying the bills, maybe supporting children if you have them, or the schedules, or the routines. Some of you wouldn't mind, um, you know, being a little bit more appreciated at work or at home. It seems like there is a lack of help. But I feel like this is not entirely the case. There is help for you. There's just not enough. That's what it seems. Like you need a little bit more assistance, teamwork, right? Queen of Pentacles in the recent past. We just went through Thanksgiving. You can see here the turkeys being <laughs> uh, part of this particular card that has to do with the holidays. This is a holiday deck, as you can see. Maybe right now you are moving out of a state in which you were very grounded and very stable in all good ways but now you're like standing up and saying you know what it's time to move it's time to get things flowing it's time to take action or to travel or have some fun kind of move energies around some of you could be redecorating the home or you could have been doing this around thanksgiving time some of you had a important connection with a capricorn virgo taurus person recently Maybe there has been some kind of healing or improvement in a connection with an earth sign or the earthy part of you, if that makes sense. Empress in your mind space. Love it. So you're dreaming about this abundance. You are enjoying a very wealthy mindset. You're seeing the beauty everywhere around you. You see how you are blessed how life is showing you love in all different ways. And you're being very appreciated here, is what I feel, Pisces. 
some of you may feel like there is a very strong stance that you are taking in life that makes you almost a little bit unrelatable to people. Maybe you're not as open to other people anymore and you may be perceived as homo someone who's in their high horse, you know, kind of vibe. But I feel like you're okay with that. I feel like that's actually not the case. There's winds of change entering your mind, okay? Your, your mindset, the way that you choose to do things is gonna be refreshed. I get a lot of like slowing down, ease, relaxation, and I almost feel like spirit is gonna give you a big break. Like there is a choice here that the universe seems to be making on your behalf so that things can be easier for you. Because right now, the Nine of Swords is representing you. So there could be a lot of worries, there could be a lot of you know, anxiety, stress. Maybe you feel very abundant, but there's certain things in your life that don't quite match that. Like you identify yourself as someone who's prosperous and free, someone who's loving and loved, someone who is living a beautiful life. But then your fear kind of comes in and reminds you like, well, that is not how you want it. And that other thing is not how you want it either. And then what about this and that and this and that? And the fear starts to almost take over the central stage of your mind. And what I'm getting here is that, you know, you've been through a lot of Pisces and with the judgment card, I see spirit making an important choice on your behalf, waking you up refreshing something that has been stagnant, almost getting you bright and shiny again. You may have a lot of love in your sur surrounding, in your environment. You may have a Gemini person around you who cares very deeply for you. You may have also important choices to make that you feel are completely in your hands but spirit is telling you they're not we are taking care of you so if you feel the pressure of the world because you have to make a choice yourself know that spirit is going to be making that choice for you and for your highest good okay there is movement forward but not yet i mean this is super like holiday vibes like creating a strategy knowing what you're going to do um creating a plan creating a calendar, a schedule, you name it, but then not being able to act on it just yet. You know, kind of like that vibe. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but it happens to me all the time. Um, when you get a physical planner and you're so excited to use it, but you have to wait for the first, first of January of the next year to actually use the planner. So it's kind of like you're in that limbo, like you want to use it because it's there and it's, pu it's pretty and you know, you want to write things on it, but you have to wait. So that's kind of like the vibe I'm getting here. Like many of you, are ready to you know just kind of like tackle all of your goals and desires for this new year but it's like uh, you know you're gonna have to wait for a little bit and see how that unfolds interesting this is a very kind of like warm-up reading that's the feeling that i get so i'm gonna record another one i'm gonna go more in depth and i'm gonna see what shows up over there so i'll see you hopefully in the next reading if not, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this space, this time together, provided you with something positive. That's always my intention. I love you so much. And under this video, I'll leave all of my information to you know, share with you all the programs and classes and really cool tools that I'm designing for you all. So much love. Bye.